In this video, I just wanted to uh, introduce you to attribute expressions. These are these are really powerful. Um, I use them a lot. It's a great way to uh, add sort of dynamic data to your pop-ups, uh, labels, what have you, um, and uh, without actually adding to the feature service without actually you know, you know creating a new field to do something. So we're going to do a relatively simple attribute expression, but hopefully from there you'll 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 be able to well, just do what you want really. So how how does this all work? And so with the attribute expression, what I'm saying is, you see how if I if I click on this, I I get um, click on this this battlefield here, I get I get all this information in the pop up. Um, th th these are all direct from the database, um, and I think what I want to do let let's add a new one here that's the square meterage of the um, polygon. Uh, let's do that. So, get an attribute expression. You see, it's in the um, in this um, pop up because that's where we're going to put it. We're going to put it in the pop up. Uh, add expression. So you, you, you've got some powerful um, tools here. You've, you've, you know, you, you're, you're, you can do all kinds of maths or, or um, whatever you, you want. Um, there's a uh, uh, nice way to sort of get get started. Because when you click on these down the side, you can see that the X is it, that top bit. That, that's the sort of internal references to the web map and to the feature layers and to uh, what data stores are being used, etc. Then you got all this sort of function stuff and, and uh, you know just all broken down nicely. And then uh, got some help and um, and there's some sort of previous stuff used used or just some suggestions. So. I know what I want to do, so I'm gonna, um, and and I know I just want to do it to um, let's say two decimal places. So I know I'm gonna use a floor. So I'm gonna floor the uh, what am I want? I want the area. So I could type it straight in because I know, but um, I might, I'll, I'll select them from here so you can see. I can just start to type stuff and it comes up, which is pretty handy. So um, so I want to floor the area uh, of the feature that I'm, that that's the current sort of where the cursor is effectively, and that's the area. And I want to put in there because um, it's floor. I'll need two decimal places. So let's um, my units are square meters. So and then we'll, we'll call this pop up. So let's run. See if I got it right. There we go. Okay, square meters. So it's going to be a big number. Okay, so do do, do the maths you want to do to put it into whatever units you like. But um, you know, divide by whatever thousand. Um, so we'll do done. So um, it doesn't appear straight away there or anything. We've just got this expression, so it's created ready to use. Well, let's go back to this. Click on the fields um, list and select fields. Scroll down uh, and sorry, and there it is at the top. Yeah, it puts the expressions at the top, so straight away you should be able to see them. So I can click on that, do done, and there we go. You see, so I've got got that in there. So you could, um, if we go back to select fields and actually just edit this. Let's click on edit. Let's put let's, let's put square meters. Let's just do that, yeah. Now you can see because I've named the attribute expression, that's what it's named the sort of column at, as you can see. And uh, and and I think I can. If I click on um, the list of fields there does it yeah so when I click on the fields this list here I can also make that change here so if I you see it's got all the all the fields listed that are uh, being used so I can click on square meters and here I can say as well what I want and actually I do want to put the thousand separator in you see that so that's put it in and uh, I can enforce furthermore the um, decimal places and and um, you know, rename it like that square meters area see so what's happened as I um, go to another place 
go to another battlefield click on that and there we go I've got my new square meters in there for any object that I click on now I did a bit of work there um, on on this and in a previous video I showed you about saving properties so you could of course under properties there uh, information and then save so if I do that what it will do is store that pop-up configuration with the feature service okay because I'm in this web map here with pubs and stuff so let's get, leave this just to, sh to sh show you that it's happened <laughs> as evidence I'll go back to the raw sort of feature layer so this is my battlefields feature service my polygon service where everything is and just open it in map viewer so all I'll do is I'll just open it and when I open it I will get everything that's been saved in a previous video for the symbology and when I click there's my square meters area so now anyone who uses that feature service gets my that attribute expression passed across so like I said attribute expressions that they're, they're really powerful you can do um, all kinds of stuff with it and uh, yeah recommended I hope you find that useful